Hey guys, welcome back to Cyber Geek. In today's video, we are going to see Android Penetration Testing Lab Part 1. And yeah, I'm remaking this video because the previous video which I made, it got audio corrupted. So I had to make it once again. And I will try to share the same information as short as possible. Okay, so if you might have seen the video which I have shared a few days back, a 30 second video uh, regarding the Android Penetration Testing Lab. Um, the video which I saw in the video, the lab which you see is this one actually. This is the one android x86 iso image i set up this lab and it was in vmware and it was quite difficult to run two vmware at the same time because you know kali is not a lighter light stuff like a payload it takes a huge resources but and it was not only the problem that even though if i root this android for particular purpose um that android wouldn't get rebooted and if you might have followed me for a very long time you have seen that in my videos i have used a separate phone for testing my exploits or meta uh, metasploit exploits backdoor stuff and all so on that divide also i tried to re uh, like um, uh, root it and try to set up but uh, i was unable to do that i i was unable to root it that phone and uh, the issue is not only that, that i realized that uh, i shouldn't be doing that because if you have extra phone just keep it we will uh, make a new exploits and we'll be running on those devices at a real time and we'll be monitoring uh, activities at a real time so keep those phones safe because i found a way how can you set up your own android device emulator in your laptop this is going to be very very easy which we'll see in the upcoming videos and yeah this image didn't work for me might be uh, might it work for you because yeah it didn't work for me basically so um, let's see uh, this is the one one more you call it as os boxes you can go over here you can directly download uh, vmware uh, image for the android or the virtual box one and yeah i it's kind of same which i've just showed you the iso image and this is also didn't work for me okay it's take huge amount of resources turning two vmware at the same time it was quite difficult now i went for this one smart saga is the name is called an emulator okay and they are very uh, easy to run on low configuration pcs and the issue with this one was that if i uh, root it basically or uh, successfully rooted it and if i do some other applications like uh, exploit framework which is going to be used in our upcoming videos for ssl pinning and all how to monitor application traffic and all all those so when i set up that uh, the android doesn't get rebooted it takes huge amount of time and it doesn't get even open so this was another kill okay i rested for these two days around for two days then i come up with nox player okay this one was the best one uh, but the only issue with this is that uh, you get root access let's talk about the good things about it you get easy root access it is very easy to set up you get uh, two more versions like android 5 or android 7 with this okay but the only issue is that it takes a huge amount of resources my laptop will get so heated up that i am unable to do any work beside this okay and even though if you reduce it, uh, like uh, its requirement still my laptop is to get hit it up and i don't recommend to use this one okay uh, there is one more which i'll talk about it and in this also if i uh, do the same thing uh, like export exposed uh, framework uh, it, it it doesn't get open if i set that up it will not get open it will like literally it will not work or even though if it's get open okay for me it got open i was happy with that but i can see the difference before setting up the exposed and after that it was kind of leggy stuff like that so i like i don't like stuff which used to get hang or a lag in between this is kind of frustrating so i just remove this one then i come to know about jenny motion everyone was saying good thing about jenny motion jenny motion is like this jenny motion is like this uh, you guys cannot uh, believe that I have wasted 20 GB of data on this Genymotion. I have done uh, different versions of Android and I've tried all of them and none of them worked for me because I tried to install G app, it will not work. Uh, I will do to do setup anything. If the device get a little bit of hang or overwork, it will crash down. Um, yeah, it was not working at all. And 
the journey motion itself doesn't get open on single click i have to do multiple clicks like 10 times or something to do this even i do troubleshooting it doesn't work okay so for you you might work journey motion is really good okay but for you people for your system it might work might be my laptop configuration is not the that good or graphics card issues i don't know but if for you if this might work okay so you can go with genie motions also and what i found out was that is this one uh the last emulator which i got is this one this is the best one which has worked it like a champ you can see over here it's still running and i was able to sub uh open so many tabs of this chrome browser you know chrome used to use lots of high resources right if you open lots of tabs over here so if i touch my laptop it's not that hot it's quite hot but it's not too much so good with this so now memo is kind of good okay you can see everything on the screen that i have exposed ssl pinning um and yeah this is also comes with root access this is also similar to your nox player or nox emulator you can say but i like this one much better because you get play store here itself and yeah this is quite very good and easy to set up okay and i thought that this is also might not work i was so disappointed but this one worked as a gem and yes you can even see if you do this setup and all uh, we do not need high configuration you can reduce them you can set it to low also okay there is not a big deal to do because we are going to just uh, and do penetration testing in android basically applications and all or maybe some exploits and all for exploits and all you better use other emulator don't play with this because you have set up the sss spinning or exports right so keep this emulator safely okay and create another one for your exploits and all and do on those so this all the emulators or all these uh, android iso images are present out there which you guys can use to set up and yeah in this video i'll just cover all these issues and all and in the next video i hope you guys search a little bit get ready with this emulator which one of it is working for you something like this gets open fine uh, like that and in the next video we will proceed with the further stuffs like how to install these applications how to set up them in your uh, uh, android emulator and then we will move with uh, further uh, application penetration testing so see you guys in the next video till then goodbye